won't stop. Where the bricks at? I give him that ditty bop. Like, take that, take that, take that, take that. All right, we're going to take a look at Allie uh, Bowers' August 12th, 2014 assessment. Here you see her running full speed, followed by half speed, 50%. And now frame by frame, 10% uh, speed. We're gonna take her forward here. Start with the upper body like we did with Anya. And again, you'll see here, head extremely offline, tilting it to the side as she drives her shoulders up to her ear. And then you'll see, much like her sister, the right arm going across the body, and then obviously on the other side, the left will go across as well. And she's extremely out of alignment there. Um, so we've gotta teach her how to kinda stay Stay north and south, drive the elbow back, the hand should come down, hip the pocket, and then up to the eye. And so that's, we got a lot of work to do with her uh, on this um, technique. We're gonna push her forward a little bit more. And we're gonna start to slide down the body. And again, looking at her knee drive, she actually has fairly long legs, you know, for her age, um, but she's not using them near uh, the way they should be. If you see, that's as high as her knee drives up. If you notice how low that is, um, we need to get that to drive up a lot more. It should be right close, right short of like 90 degrees. Uh, and that'll maximize her stride. And in every step she takes, she'll be able to get maximum distance, but do it efficiently. Again, she's offline again. Uh, the green line should split her eyes. She's to the side of that. And that's caused by the, the, the arms crossing the body. And again, you can see the right arm coming across her face um, there. And that's all again, because of the east-west motion from her arms and her shoulders. Going forward some more, we're gonna stop it here. And you'll notice she does something that one in 10 kids do. So it's, it's not too too prevalent, but it is. She has, see how she twists her hips and then she tucks her her left leg behind her right leg. Um, that's a very, what we call that is a very slow move because she's having to come out and over. So she brings it in to out, in to out. So you'll see as we push it forward, she's gonna step and then bring it back out. So we've gotta get her to pick the leg straight up, come straight forward, straight back. Nothing across the body like that. So we definitely want to make her stop doing that. Um, that's going to be more difficult than the upper body, but it's definitely something that we can work on. Um, again, she's barely flaring her foot out some. Um, it doesn't need to be corrected, but it's not huge. Uh, same thing as, uh, as Anya had. But um, she also lands a little bit flat-footed. Anya was hitting striking straight on the heels. Hers is not on the ball where we want it, but it's a little bit closer to being that way. She's just landing a little flat. So we're gonna work on that. So with both girls, we have quite a bit to work on, but if they stay consistent and you know you keep bringing them and we can work with them, we can correct all these things over time. Her vertical leap, you'll notice here, she really doesn't get much torque with her upper body. And um, that allows her scores to be a little lower than they should have been probably. So we're gonna work with her technique and help her out there. Uh, her broad jump, she was able to get 4.8, um, which is right close to what Anya scored, which is pretty good for her. Um, she uses her upper body a lot better this time and explodes out. And we're going to teach her how to really control and move her body. Same thing for both girls, but it, it's all about body control and body movement and how to really explode out and, and generate um, power from your, from your legs and arms. Lateral speed, this is an area that she really suffered in. Um, it's because she's standing straight up and kind of almost hopping like a bunny rabbit versus really getting down low and sliding. So we definitely need to work on her lateral movement. Um, that's probably one of the main things we need to work on right away. Um, taking a look at her scores. You'll see here zero push up. She was unable to do one correctly, so she didn't get any, any score for that. Her plank was under a minute. Again, we have to work on that, that core strength. It's very, very important for running and really throwing the lacrosse ball and pretty much any sport. 10 yard was 251. Again, we need to get that down to the low twos. Um, we need to work on her flexibility as well. She's not near as flexible as she should be. And we definitely want to keep an eye on the vertical and the standing broad jump as we, um, as we do our next evaluation in 90 days.